alone. The last time they hung out without me, it was a disaster. All right, movie night. I am so psyched for Reindeer Games. What? I thought we were watching La Vie en Rose. Now, what do you mean? Reindeer Games is great. Everything goes wrong on the one day it has to go right. But La Vie en Rose is a beautiful movie about the real-life tragedy of Edith Piaf. Usually Peter would break the tie. Well, Peter isn't here, is he? Because you were supposed to be watching him, but you were smoking marijuana and he drowned! What? No, he's in a PTA meeting. Where the hell did you get that story? I don't know. I just can't stand it when he's not here. Peter, you've got every other night of the week to spend with your buddies. This is the one night we've set aside for our family. Is that really too much to ask? <sighs> I guess you're right. Come on, Brian, come upstairs. I want to show you a freckle on my sack that I'm concerned about. It has irregular edges. Peter, what are you doing? I'm not going to family night. My agreeing with Lois was just pure theater. Come on, we're jumping off the roof. Are you insane? We'll kill ourselves. Don't worry, we can fly. I got this pixie dust from a magic fairy. Either that or it's speed I got from a transvestite at a diner. <laughs> ah, it's the speed! It's the speed from the diner! Peter, let go of me! I need to go find a screwdriver and some lighter fluid! What? Come on! Ah! Damn it! So what are we gonna do for family night? Oh, would you shut up? All the good people are gone. Hey, welcome to Cohog Laser Tag. Please pay attention while I show y'all how to put on y'all's vests. Sir, can I use you to demonstrate? Thank you. I have longed for your attention since the moment I arrived. Now put this on over your shoulders. Good. Now I'm gonna need you to squats down like your underwears is done for, but you might still save the jeans. Now you's gonna want lats to front to the back like so. Did everybody get that? Boy, a lot of heat comes off you, don't it? All right, keep an eye out for Peter. He's oddly competitive at this stuff. Yeah, and he seems to be weirdly physically fit at this place. Yeah, it's almost like he has unrealistic abilities when we play laser tag. All right, well, if we just stick together, then... Zap! 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 What the... Oh, why? How'd you learn to do that? The question isn't how I do it. It's how I forgive myself for what I've done. Yeah, win it! Right here! All right, pal, what do I get? Well, for $5, you could get your picture in a fake newspaper with a humorous headline. Wow, my picture in the paper. I didn't even get that when I brought that kitten and gorilla together. Huh? Did I tell you, Lois? Oh, that's beautiful, Peter. She's taking care of that kitten like it's her own. Yep, I knew eventually she'd stop tearing him in half. Uh, we waited for you for four hours. Where the hell have you been? Look, Lois, I know you're mad, but I think this will prove that I did the right thing. I put our family on the map tonight. No longer will we be just those faceless nobodies who brought the bird flu to Cohort. You know, there's something seriously wrong with a man who always puts his friends over his family. Come on, Lois, I think you're overreacting. What's so wrong about a guy hanging out with his buddies? Buddies? You're one of his buddies? Yeah, and you know why? Because I don't try to tell him what he can and can't do. Please, Brian. You're just two people who live in the same house. If you didn't, you'd never hang out with each other in a million years. He owns you. You're his property. He used to hang you in the garage so his fender wouldn't hit the wall. You're there. You're there. I couldn't hear you. The radio was too loud. I'm going to bed. You know, Lewis is right, Brian. You think you're Peter's pal, but you're really not. You're just his dog. Well, that's where you're wrong. Watch this. Hey, Peter, you want to go hit the clam? Nah, there's no way she's in the mood. Let's just go to the bar. Sounds good. Heading to the bar with my friend, Peter. You're lying to yourself, Brian. Like those girls who insist their best friends are attractive. Oh, Stewie, I can't wait for you to meet my best friend. She is so cute. Yeah, she sounds awesome. Oh, my God, yeah. People ask her if she's a model all the time. Here she comes. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was an extreme example, but face it, ladies, your best friend.